to have resources to help me and to guide me in this new journey that I was beginning with Jesus Christ. And so as I, as I walked along and was limping along, um, I was desperate and cried out that God would show me why this happened, what had happened in my life that got me derailed at an early age. And, and God was generous. And so as he was taking me on this journey, again, I thought I was the only person to come out of homosexuality into church culture again. Until I started to find that there were other resources that I was uh, gleaning from inside the church of other men and women that had come out of homosexuality. So we decided that we were going to get together at SoCal Camp Meeting in the year 20, uh, 2010. And we did that and we met up. And we decided that if one testimony is good, then imagine five testimonies together, what that could mean. Mm. So there were two women and there were three men that came together and began coming out ministries. We had no idea. Basically, we thought that this ministry would be for people like ourselves to help us, to direct us, and to guide us in this relationship with Christ. But all of a sudden, as we started to present, we recognized that, that we had to equip the church. The church needed resources and also understanding to kind of change the culture in church to not see the, this as such a heinous issue, but instead to see it as God sees it that to him all sin is disgusting, all sin is not according to his word. And so as we started to minister, we recognized that the church started to respond. One of the, the, I think, most exciting compliments that we get in this ministry is after we present, people come up and say, wait a minute, I thought that this was a gay thing, when really this is an issue that addresses my issues as well. So when it, when it covers everybody's issue, then the beautiful part is, is that we all have something to uh, take away from it, and that's been really encouraging. Our ministry started off seven years ago, and now we've gone around the world. Um, we've been to Africa, Australia, Taiwan, India. Um, we're going to Australia this year. We're going to Argentina and to Chile. We've been to Guam. We've been all over the place, but there's so many other places that we want to get to as well. Mm. But the sad reality is that the same problems that we struggle with here with society as Christians is the same issue around the world. It's a global issue. So um, we praise God that he's opened up those doors and that he's given us um, opportunities to speak to young and old about this issue to not only change the attitudes inside the church, but also to create an atmosphere where all people can find redemption and freedom from sexual sin. And so I'm gonna hand the mic to Danielle and, and she can explain, explain a little bit about the film. Yeah, so I think that as this ministry was blossoming, there was um, a, a specific level to which everybody really realized that it would be beneficial to have a film. The guys, before I came into the ministry, had made a couple of attempts with different videographers that didn't really pan out, and wondering why these attempts were failing, eventually we were put into contact with the gentleman who did the videography and much of the editing for Journey Interrupted, and I think we all recognize now that there was a reason why the Lord didn't allow it to happen until the time was right. And when we, uh, when the idea was presented to Danny Woods, there was a little bit of hesitation on his part because he works uh, with a lot of political um, figures and a lot of work during November months and. For him, he was wondering if this was really going to be a good step for him to take or if it would really end up slicing into his career and cutting it short. Well, he decided that he was going to pray about it because his initial response was just to say no. But as he was praying about it, he, his mind turned to the fact that he was bullied a lot as he was growing up, growing up and he was teased for being gay, even though he wasn't. Hmm. So he saw how this... This very issue had even impacted his life and the bullying that he experienced and he thought I can't imagine what the bullying is like for those who actually have same-sex attraction and what what their experience must be and his wife said to him you can't not make this film and he realized that 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 held a lot of weight and he decided to to commit to making this film whatever the consequences may be and we have been so blessed to work with Danny he traveled with us around to a few other countries to collect footage and we have seen the Lord really just just bring this film together in a way that all of the credit goes to God because we see um, all of it woven together in a way that we really just know that God had his hand in all of this so we're excited to present to you Journey Interrupted and we pray it'll be a blessing for you individually tonight. Hmm. 
Uh, could we go ahead and have an opening prayer? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. sure. Let's pray together. <clears throat> Father, thank you for um, this opportunity to show Journey Interrupted to some more uh, interested friends. And I know, Lord, that you're going to take us all on a journey, and we are all in that journey together. So tonight, Lord, as the movie plays, speak to our hearts. Send your Holy Spirit. And Lord, it's not our desire to hurt anybody or to, um, or to offend anybody. Our desire, Lord, is to show the incredible things that you have done in our lives. And then maybe it would have an application to them as well. So lead us, guide us, and interrupt our journeys, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen.